East Coast trip? Um, I thought we learned a lot. Uh, it's, it sucks to learn things through losses, but like Matt always says, you gain experience when things don't go your way. So obviously a lot of things didn't go our way <laughs> over the trip, but we just gained more experience throughout it. And I think it taught us a lot of lessons that will carry on into Pac-12 play. How do you feel you grew, you grew throughout the East Coast trip? Willow going down, she's kind of your senior counterpart out there. Do you feel you even grew more as a leader? Yeah, I think um, I had to do a lot more vocally and I think even though I bring a lot physically throughout the game I had to like pep people up when they felt down because it's really easy when things aren't going your way to get in your head and um, start thinking super negative thoughts and that only makes you worse so I'm um, just trying to motivate them to be their best throughout the games which it's hard and they're still learning but um, I think I had to step up more in that aspect. You talked a lot in the preseason about becoming a leader and becoming a different type of leader. Was this kind of a learning experience for you in this two weeks, stepping into that role that's been talked about so much? Yeah, most definitely. I uh, caught myself struggling um, because when you feel like you're doing, when you feel like you're giving so much and then like you still lose, like that does a lot like mentally, it just like it hurts. And I was like really hurt after I think like the Duke loss because that one was just like do set, do set, do like loss and the close one, like every loss hurts, but the ones that you know like could have gone either way like seemed to sting a little more. And so I think after that one, I got in my head a lot and I didn't want to talk to anyone. And then we had a game like a couple hours later and I just like thought to myself, you can be really mad about this loss right now and the team's going to feed off of that or you can like change right now and try to be positive and try to give as much as you can so everyone knows that it is okay like we still can bounce back from this and so I think like it wasn't until right when we warmed up that I decided to change like the whole in the locker room I was quiet and my headphones in like no one was going to talk to me I was so mad but then like right when we stepped on the court I was like you got to change or else it's not going to be good for us. How much did losing Willow just kind of change the whole tournament? I mean, it's one thing to lose her in like the last or the second to last game, but yeah. you're up on Pitt in the fourth set, and like the, that's the first game of the whole trip. <laughs> yeah. And she kind of goes down. I mean, how did that change just sort of the mentality, morale, emotion of, of where that trip was and where it was going to go? Yeah, it definitely hurt emotionally. Uh, just seeing, I mean, Willow's my girl. Seeing her go down, I almost cried. It was just so sad. You hate to see her go down. She's worked so hard and like she wants this so bad. And so um, to see her go down right in the beginning, right when things were swinging our way, um, it hurt. But uh, I think it just gave us more experience. Like, like I said before, obviously like things didn't go our way and we were super disappointed with that, but it's only making us stronger in the long run. I know going forward, I mean, you get a feeling some of the non-conference results might not have gone your way just because of the sheer amount of freshmen that you guys have on this team. How much experience do you think they gained? What did you see out of them improvement-wise over the last couple weeks that maybe might translate into Pac-12 play and later when with more experience under their belt like yeah. what they just had that might show in a, in a different way? Yeah, Matt always said, like, would you rather have it, your adversity now? like in the beginning or would you rather have it later and so we were all like no and um, so they learned a lot and I think it was the hard way I think you learn the most when it's the hardest um, so watching them I think the biggest lesson they could take away is to always be aggressive that's the times where we go in soft or like we go in unaggressive that's when the other teams will get the points because like you go in doubting yourself and there's no way that you're gonna like break through you'll get lucky sometimes but like most of the time it's not going your way but I think preaching to them over and over again to always go in aggressive and always go in wanting to kill always going in wanting to better the ball like even though they don't think it is like when you go in aggressive then things seem to fall your way more likely than not um, and for Brooke, I mean, making the jump from last year this year, playing a political position, what have you seen from her going from last year all the way to now? She's so good. Brooke is amazing. Like, she has to, we've passed two person service team, her. She's passed two person service team with Georgia and then also had to hit front row and is also running and covering people and also making all the defensive moves that she made last year, but like playing everywhere. And so she's just crazy good. Um, she takes whatever is handed to her and she makes it 10 times better. She wants to be so good for the team, for herself, and so she's just a really selfless player and watching her take over the way she does. Um, now that she can bring it offensively, before it was like all defense with her energy, but she brings it on both sides. Um, it's cool to see, just, she's super talented. Were there any individual players that really caught your eye of really improved throughout the East Coast trip? 
Um, I think Kylie. Kylie really improved. Um, running a 5-1 as a redshirt freshman isn't easy, especially when you have like me like barking at her, I'm like, set me the ball. <laughs> like, uh, I think she's coming into her own. It's really easy to struggle. We played against some, what do you guys call it, like hostile crowds. Like, they were pretty aggressive out there. And so just to see her like develop each game and become the leader on the court that she, I know she can be, she still doubts herself a little bit. Kylie for sure, and then Taylor Williams had some great moments. She just needed to keep believing that she can have those moments all the time. What were those crowds like, by the way? I mean, it's it seems like it's a different animal out there in the Big Ten with volleyball. I think it's like amazing. Like I love their crowds, and I like wish like I want us, our crowds, and our students to be just like that. It's so funny, and like I don't get affected by it just because like I think it's hilarious. <laughs> like they're like chanting at us and. Like making, they have, I don't know, they're just so cool and the, the energy that they have and that they bring is like, it's really unique and I'm glad that we got to experience it and we got to see good volleyball with a really great crowd. So it was fun to be a part of. What was the hardest place to play throughout the entire trip? Uh, throughout the entire trip, I would say it's... Like, you would want to think that it would be, like, Penn State, but I actually think we played pretty well versus Penn State. Probably our best volleyball. Volleyball, I don't know. I said volleyball. Um, I would say the hardest place to play was probably Princeton. And that, like, because there wasn't really, like, that much of a crowd, and we really had to focus on our energy, and it's, like... I said before in a meeting, like when there's a large crowd and like everyone's yelling at you, you can't even hear your own thoughts. So you don't have time to think about how bad you're playing or how well you're playing just because like you have to think about the next point because they're distracting you so much. And so when there's like silence and you just make an error and you make another error on top of it, like all you have is your thoughts. And if you're not a good self motivator, then you can get trapped in yourself. So I would say Princeton, they were a really good team and they brought it to us. and. I was also quiet in the gym, so <laughs> we had to motivate ourselves throughout the whole match.